Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might be right now. I just want to welcome you to our site and I am so excited because I found a bunch of wigs the other day, oh, a couple weeks ago. I've been thinking about this, you know, oh, what I wanted to show you, etc., etc., etc. And I realized that I had these wonderful wigs in my little wig space. I've carved me out a little space. And if you have more than three wigs, try to carve out a little space for you. And then it's always easy to go and get what you need. And I saw this Mason by Noriko. Now, she, I know she's old. And she used to be pretty thick. Let me show you. Excuse me. See how thick she was? And almost uh, all of the older wigs, as we have progressed in wig making, our uh, techniques have improved. And also, we've gotten a little thinner. Uh, Ellen Via is even a little thinner because Europeans like their hair thinner. I want to show you what I did. First, I picked Allure. This is John's, one of his best sellers ever. When it came out, it went woom. You can get it in um, average, petite, large, classic cap. Uh, you can also get it in a monotop. And it's got every color of the rainbow that you want. So I've already thinned this one. I went all over it and I got you know, handfuls of hair. Just do one time, babes. But you will see the difference. I'm going to show you today. Excuse me, water. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you today what it looks like, thinned and not thin. I thinned this side, guys. And there's so many of those great classic wigs that are now kind of out of style because, not because of the style, but because of the thickness of the, of the wig. So this side I've already done, and I'm combing it back straight so you can see what it looks like after it's been thinned. This side has not been thinned. Now here's the difference. When you thin it, and then you go tap, 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 Tip, 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 tip. See back here? When you flip it, let's use a little water, only water. Woo! And you go like that. Get a little water on it. Then pick, 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 pick. Circle, circle, pick. Circle, circle. And you will see, especially right in here in this area. I don't know why it's so, but I have found it to be so. Whenever they sew the crown onto the body, especially right in here, it gets thinner. Now look how much softer and pretty because you can see air through your pieces. Now do this side. See how full and, and gloppy it is and it really doesn't stay? And the big part is right here. So I'm going to show you a little bit how to thin this, and then you'll see the results. Let's go to this side. I want you to get your thinning shears. Toodles! Here they are. And I only have one side serrated, okay? So I turn it over, because I like the serrated at the bottom. And I'm just going to zigzag. No... No rhyme or reason, guys. We start at the top and we work down and around. I want it to be zigzaggy. I don't want straight lines. I don't want clips. Now, let's get this really good. You go down here and you get into the base. Can you see that? Base, base, and push. Hold the hair and push. And do one. See what I took out? Get your styrofoam or whatever head you've got. Now, right in here is where it's glumpy, guys. 
and I'm going to hold that up, go in, push all the way down to the base. All right, let's get it out. All right, another little piece. You don't have to pull them out because that's harder to do, I think. And then you go in, pick up little pieces, in. Now remember right in here it's more glumpy, so pick it up, go to the base, that's most important. Out. Here. A little bit. Here. You can feel the difference. I used to do, I used to do this all the time. I'd close my eyes and feel because I can tell right here. Woo! Really, really thick. So I go in, clip once, out. In, clip, in, clip. Okay. Now, I think we've got it there. Pick it up, clip. Pick it up, clip. Pick it up, clip, clip. Right here. See how much I'm getting out? So you only want to do it one time all the way around. So I started here, and then I got kind of creative back here. But I feel... brush the tar out of it now, and we'll see what it looks like, guys. Okay. Woo -hoo. I, I can't tell you the difference that I feel in these wigs when they're thinned a little bit. I don't want you to go down and make them bald. But now look at the difference. If you want to have, and a lot of people are having you know, kind of a smoother top now. And the mason's nice and short, so you can do just about anything. But see how it's flatter here? And it's flatter here. It's flatter right here at the crown. And that's really key. So, let's take... I have a bigger brush. Where is it? You can get this on our website. It's the paddle brush. You use it for human hair, and I use it for synthetic hair. So I'm going to hold the bang like that, and I'm going to brush back, brush back, brush back. Now, see, you can make it flat on the top if you want to, loves. Okay. All right, now I'm going to take it off. Shake the tar out of it and put it on for you. I'll do another video on how to do it with long hair. It's really the same principle. It, you just have to use clips and, and part it off so the hair doesn't get in your way. All right, let's hold this sucker in the back and shake, 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 shake. Now, I'm going to put it on for you. I just can't wait to do all these how-tos today. I always think of them when the camera goes off. <laughs> all right, pull it up to the top. It feels like pounds lighter. I'm not kidding. Okay, now let's just spritz it with a little water. Oh, excuse me. Okay, let's spritz it with a little water. You don't have to do this, but when you go in and bring these around, see with your fingers? And when you go in here, circle, circle, pick, circle, circle. See, it's airy. You can see how much cuter it looks than having this huge bob on your head. See in the back. You can't see through to the skin, but it's airy. 
I love this. Have a great day, guys. Bye.